on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. And, uh, you know, with all the rumors kicking around about uh, Apple iPhone OS 4.0 coming out soon, possibly on, uh, well, as I'm shooting this today, it's next Wednesday, January 27th. There's an Apple Media event scheduled and uh, rumors flying that they're going to preview iPhone OS 4. Uh, with all that stuff going on, I figured it'd take some time to take a look at uh, one of the features that lots of people want on the iPhone which is uh, multitasking, uh, the ability to run apps in the background and switch back and forth, which you can do on all kinds of other modern smartphone operating systems, uh, Android, Palm Web OS, Windows Mobile, Symbian. Uh, but you can't really do on, on Apple iPhone OS, except, uh, you know, very limited capacity, like with the, uh, the iPod can run in the background. Uh, and you can actually do this right now if you jailbreak your phone. So I'm going to show you uh, on a jailbroken iPhone an app, a couple apps that I installed let you do it. We're rocking the uh, Strawberry Fields Forever backdrop here because my, uh, my office slash video studio is still under repair. I'll tell you what, when you live in the Bay Area and it's rainy season, you don't mess around with leaks in the ceiling. That's all I'm saying. So hopefully we'll be back in there soon. Uh, anyway, I'm not endorsing or recommending that you jailbreak your iPhone. And if you do it, you're at your own risk and you may very well void your warranty and not be able to get any support from Apple if your phone bonks out on you. But that being said, uh, you can do it. And if you do, there's a world of interesting stuff that's available to you. Uh, this lock screen called lock screen info is one of the things you can you can do to enable kind of a widget style, you know, like a Windows Mobile Today screen or Symbian S60 uh, active standby, Android widgets, that kind of thing. We'll get to that in a separate video. But I'm going to show you right now two apps I installed. One's called Backgrounder and one is called Pro Switcher. And uh, these are available, you jailbreak your iPhone, you get access to something called Cydia, which is a repository of uh, jailbreak apps that you can install. Uh, there are a couple other ways to get jailbroken apps, but Cydia is one of the, uh, if not the best known one. And so on Cydia, there are a few things um, that I've installed, and I'll show you here. You'll see some stuff in here that's installed that uh, has nothing to do with the backgrounding and switching and stuff, but um, it takes a second for it to load up all the information. We'll go to manage and we'll take a look at the packages that are installed already. So here's Backgrounder, and this is the 3.x version. I'm running uh, the iPhone 3 firmware. And then there's another app that I installed called Pro Switcher. Pro Switcher, you can see it right here. Well, not right here, but you can see it um, back here, Palm Pre-Styled Application Switcher. And that's what it is. So Backgrounder enables the multitasking running of apps in the background. Pro Switcher lets you rock the uh, Palm Pre, Palm Pixie, WebOS styled application management. And so basically it looks like this. When you're running apps, you can launch Pro Switcher. And now you've got card style apps that you can swipe through. And you can even, if I don't want to run City anymore, I can exit out or I can even do uh, a WebOS style flick and it's gone. And uh, just kind of nifty, you know, you can run stuff in the background. So I'll keep this running and I'll load up Safari. And I've been keeping up on the uh, late night wars there. I haven't actually been watching any of the shows, but just reading about them. And then I've got my Pro Switcher set to uh, enable switching via double tap in the status bar. So that's what I did, and then I can go back to Springboard, which is um, the uh, jailbroken uh, finder, basically. And let's run another app. Uh, let's fire up TweetDeck. We'll get that going. And then as that's loading up, we'll call that up into a card. And I can go back to Safari, and I can read up on the Late Night Wars. And uh, maybe in the meantime, I'll also get some music going. So we'll play some music in the background. And then while that's running, go back to TweetDeck, see what's going on. And then, oh, you know what? I don't really need Twitter open. I'll go back. And then I'll go back to the home screen. And it functions just like normal. We can stop it. So um, that's the basic gist of it. And uh, I've been running these apps on this particular iPhone for a few days now. 
no significant drain on battery life unless I'm doing a lot of multitasking, in which case, you know, it is noticeably uh, a drain. You know, the more apps you run at the same time, the more power you use. Doesn't matter if you're on an iPhone or a uh, Palm WebOS phone or a laptop or whatever. So, um, you know, you will see some uh, decline the more apps you use. But in general, I haven't noticed a big drain on battery life just having these apps installed and running. In the Pro Switcher um, settings, you've got a few different things that you can uh, set here. So activation method, uh, methods, you can see I have mine set set to use uh, double tap on the status bar. Obviously there's no gesture area like there is on a Palm WebOS device, but you know, you can set to do different things, uh, activate it off of the home button or you know, what have you. Uh, you can also set uh, become home screen. You can set, you know, your display. How do you want it shown? Activation title badges, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can round the corners on the UI there, the, the palm cards type UI. Uh, other things going on, you can set how many cards you want to show, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so pretty interesting and honestly quite handy um, if you're the, you know, the type who uh, wants to run multiple apps on your iPhone or you're just jealous of your friend's Palm Web, WebOS device. Uh, and again, this is all predicated on Backgrounder. Uh, Pro Switcher is kind of the UI for managing the multitasking, but Backgrounder is what enables the actual multitasking. So if you want to rock this, you're on your own. Google, Bing, whatever search engine you use is your friend. You can look up jailbreaking and all these methods on your own. But again, neither myself nor Phone Dog endorses jailbreaking your phone. We're not responsible if you do it. And uh, we have nothing to do with the wrath of Apple that you may or may not incur if you take a jailbreaking phone, broken phone into the uh, Apple Store Genius Bar asking for help. Because they probably won't help you because you probably violated their terms of services. There you go. Much, much more on uh, whatever happens next week, January 27th at the Apple event, the future of iPhone, the future of smartphones, all that good stuff over on PhoneDog.com. Till next time, I'm going to read up on what's going on on uh, Letterman and Conan and stuff. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.